Just like rock music, civil rights, and the length of women's skirts, zombies underwent a radical change in the 1960s. For decades they were intrinsically linked to voodoo, the Caribbean, and the exotic. Hammer's 1966 film, The Plague of the Zombies, stayed true to these traditional concepts, and can be seen as the last great voodoo zombie film before George Romero's flesh-eating hordes became the new norm. I know we already featured a hammer horror in this series, but one hammer is never enough, damn it! And the plague of the zombies earns its inclusion. A renowned doctor of medicine and his daughter are beckoned over to a small village in Cornwall to assist an old pupil of his. The ex-student is frankly baffled. A dozen members of the community have grown mysteriously ill and passed away, and he just can't determine the cause. His wife is now showing symptoms, and time is running out which makes it all the more frustrating that the squire of the village has forbidden any autopsies or any real investigating to occur. No, that's not suspicious at all, squire. The doctors decide enough is enough and launch a secret inquiry, ultimately discovering that bodies are missing from their coffins and sinister work is definitely afoot. The plague of the zombies is hammer on top form. As usual, they bring their splendid Victorian costumes and sets which dress up the gripping mystery that unfolds at a perfect pace. John Ginning is the director here, and for the most part, his style is unassuming. It doesn't bring attention to itself, and Ginning seems happy to let the story speak for itself. When it's appropriate, he does mix it up. The earlier scenes of the undead consist of snap zooms and dizzy handheld shots, elevating the shock beyond the material, as it's such a contrast against the established, measured approach. He and the editor also get high marks for their third act action. A hand-to-hand -hand battle between the elderly doctor and a much younger, fitter Flet carries some real stakes. As well as being suitably exciting and tense, it's beautifully shot and concludes with a satisfying blow. Andre Moreau is a delight as the curmudgeonly but lovable old doctor. Oh look father, look! I've seen a fox, several of them in fact. I've no doubt your fox looks very similar to all the others. He delivers the dry wit that you come to expect from Hammer's aged heroes, but as the tale grows serious, his inquisitive, affirming manner supplies the required gravitas. Zombie. And his supporting cast does not let him down. I don't have a bad word to say about any of them, really. Diane Clare plays the Doctor's daughter, and her cheeky optimism does a fine job of counterbalancing her father's sternness. <laughs> the younger Doctor is portrayed by Brooke Williams, who has to pull off much of the film's emotional acting. And if I was to tell you they died from swamp fever, or the plague, or some other such nonsense, that would make you feel happier, would it? Yes, if it were the truth. But it wouldn't be the truth! The villainous squire is John Carson. His performance is quietly menacing and commanding without ever going over the top. Jacqueline Pierce as the sick wife is only in the film for a short while, but really sells the severity and surreal nature of the situation in the first act. The other townsfolk all do well to fill up the narrative, and I love their accents. You don't know, and you call yourself a doctor. My main criticism are the regular day for night scenes. I know it's sunnier down in Cornwall, but if that's taking place at midnight, then I am Mickey Mouse! Also, some of the blatantly obvious masks in the finale sadly undercut the zombies' wonderful and understated makeup work. Some may take issue with the villain's plot when it is finally revealed, but personally, I find this strange capitalist agenda via voodoo to be both amusing and effective. It's also a somewhat believable endgame if zombies were real. Jeff Bezos' wet dream. So yeah, check out The Plague of the Zombies, it's a real hammer highlight. And I guess all that is left to say is... Cada Nostra, Cada Estra, Cada Nostra, Cada Estra, Cada Nostra. Cada nostra. <laughs>